Hi, my name is Lucia Osborne Crowley. I am a journalist and a writer. Um, I am the author of My Body Keeps Your Secrets, uh, which is out on the 2nd of September with the Indigo Press. Um, I just wanted to say hello and give you a bit more detail about the book and what I hope you might get from reading it. Um, so as a journalist, I've spent most of my career reporting on gender issues and sexual violence is something I've focused on specifically. But it wasn't until I was able to acknowledge my own rape and to just disclose and start talking about my rape, which happened when, when I was 15. It was only then that I started to properly understand all of the impacts that, that it had on me. And that was because um, in some ways the sexual violence is, is such a destructive element of our society because it harms the person not only in the act itself, not only in the crime, but also in the cover-up, which, um, and the pressure of the cover-up is actually on victims because we are taught not to speak about sexual violence and we are taught to be ashamed of it. And I started to realise that my shame about being attacked uh, was, was one of the most dangerous aspects of, of what happened that night. Um, so I, I got really interested in the idea of shame more broadly and I started doing some reporting on shame and speaking to experts and I realised in the course of that research that actually my assault was the tip of the iceberg for me when it comes to shame. It was just kind of the most obvious of a constellation of things that had happened to me that I felt that I could never speak about openly. So for this book, I wanted to use my skills as a journalist to speak to people around the world about their bodies and about sexual violence and sexual harassment and about the things that have happened to them and how shame has impacted them. And the amazing thing that came out of these interviews is that you know, I spoke to over 100 people, um, women and gender fluid and non-binary people um, about their bodies and their relationship with their bodies. And what I found was that we were all feeling the same thing. We were even, we were even using the same words to express it. And so we were all together in this experience and yet completely isolated because even though we were all feeling the same thing, we have always been told that we're not allowed to talk about it. So people speaking to me in these interviews, I could see how shared these, these feelings were and, and how much agency and empowerment there could be in, in sharing those experiences. And therefore how, how devastating it is that we are taught to, to be silent about these things. So I wanted to bring all of those stories together and I wanted to give a sense of what the world might be like if, if we were able to talk about these things and if we were able to sit together in shame and therefore reduce the impact it has on our lives. And for so many of us, particularly people who are in marginalised and structurally oppressed groups, shame is, is actually so constant that it, it can become part of a person's personality. And it's, it certainly did for me, you know, the the my instincts around shame are things that I have always thought are just parts of who I am rather than a symptom of what's happened to me. And uh, one of the experts that I um, that I read a lot of in researching this book um, talks about the fact that shame leads us to create a false self for the world um, so that we can hide what we feel ashamed of. Um, and I wanted to ask, you know, what, what would the world look like if we could throw off that false self? If we could say, I'm actually not going to do that anymore. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to be who I actually am underneath all of the shame and all of the things that I feel um, I should keep secret and that I feel I should be ashamed of. So I hope that this book is the story of many, many, many lives lived with shame and I hope that what it leaves you with is hope and is the idea that we can actually end shame by speaking about these things as often as possible um, and I hope you'll 
join me in that endeavor. Thank you.